Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, another numerical ability discussion for your civil service exam preparation. This is problem solving on work problems. My previous video was about percentage problems. If you missed that one, you can check it out in the description box below. Nanjan din yung iba pang numerical practical test with discussions and solving. Okay, so ano nga ba itong work problems sa civil service exam? Work problems usually occur in solving and finding the number of hours days, or generally the time it takes by working alone, working together, and any problems involving works. So dito, ibibigay ko yung mga mabilis na formulas and techniques in answering work problems. Let's increase your chances of passing, so keep watching here in CSE Online Reviewer. Now, let's do the practical test. Directions, choose the correct answer. Number 1. Rye takes 9 hours to arrange interior furniture. It takes my 18 hours to complete the same task. How many hours would it take if they work together? 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 8, 4, 9, or 5, 5. The correct answer is 6 hours. Since ang inahanap ay how many hours would it take if they work together, the formula is product over sum. Bear in mind na kapag working together ang inahanap, ang gagamitin natin is their product over their sum. That is, Rai takes 9 hours and Mai takes 18 hours. So, 9 times 18 is? 9 times 8 is 72, carry 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. So, this is 162. And their sum, 9 plus 18 is 27. Divide, 162 divided by 27. Ilang 27 meron sa 162? That is 6. Let's see. 27 times 6. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry 4. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 4 is 16. So 162 and 0 na. The answer is 6. So it takes 6 hours if Rai and Mai work together. And this is correct. Next, number 2. The younger brother paints the wall in 24 minutes while the older brother needs 6 minutes to finish the same task. How many minutes would it take if they work together? 1, 4.8, 2, 5.3, 3, 3.5, 4, 5.8, or 5, 4.6. The correct answer is 4.8 minutes. So, kagaya ng kanina, ang hinahanap dito ay how many minutes if they work together. Do not forget the formula, same formula, product over sum. Kasi working together ang hinahanap. So, 24 times 6 is? 6 times 4 is 24, carry 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So, 144. And the sum, 24 plus 6 is 30. Divide. 144 divided by 30, ilang 30 meron sa 144? That is 4. Tingnan natin, 30 times 4, this is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. So, 120. Subtract, this is 4 and 2. Hindi pa tapos, so place a decimal point and a 0 para mapagpatuloy natin. Bring down 0, ilang 30 meron sa 240? That is 8. 30 times 8 is, this is 0, 8 times 3 is 24, so 240, 0 na to. So it takes 4.8 minutes for the both of them working together and this is correct. Kung napapansin nyo, napakadali at napakabilis lang siyang i-compute, kung maliliit nga lang na numbers ay automatic makocompute mo siya agad mentally kahit hindi mo na isulat. But yan ay kung ang hinahanap ay working together. Tingnan natin kung iba na ang hinahanap. Ay iba, wag po. Charot. So next number, number 3. Mr. and Mrs. Castillo can finish a job in 4 days working together. If it takes Mr. Castillo 6 days to complete the job working alone, how many days will it take Mrs. Castillo to finish the job working by herself? 1, 2, 2, 14, 3, 12, 4, 8, or 5, 11. The correct answer is 12 days. Now, ang inahanap dito ay working alone. How many days will it take Mrs. Castillo to finish the job working by herself? In 4 days ay matatapos nila ang trabaho together. 
At kung i-take si Mr. Castillo six days working alone, ilan naman ang araw para kay Mrs. Castillo? So ang formula kapag ang hinahanap ay working alone ay product over difference. Ito ang gagamitin natin. The product is 6 times 4, that is 24. Over their difference, 6 minus 4 is 2. Divide, 24 divided by 2, that is 12. So it takes Mrs. Castillo 12 days to work alone. Ganun lang po kadali, and this is correct. Next number. Number 4. Two farmers completed planting a row of lettuce in 3.5 days. If one farmer takes 7 days to finish planting, how long will it take for the other farmer to work alone? 1 12 days, 2 155 hours, 3 6.5 days, 4 2 weeks, or 5 168 hours? The correct answer is 168 hours. So working alone ang hinahanap, how long will it take for the other farmer working alone? How long ang nakalagay hindi in-specify kung days ba, weeks kaya or hours, kaya nga dito sa choices ay iba-iba. Kahit sinabi ko na ang tamang sagot, i-explain ko lang bakit naging ganyan ang sagot. So yung formula natin na kapag working alone ang hinahanap ay product over difference. Their product is... Since 7 days for one farmer to finish planting and 3.5 days working together, so 7 times 3.5, 7 times 5 is 35, carry 3, 7 times 3 is 21 plus 3 is 24, place the decimal point, so 7 times 3.5 is 24.5, and their difference, 7 minus 3.5 is 3.5, divide, 24.5 divided by 3.5, First, move the decimal point to the right in both of our divisor and dividend, making it a whole number. So, ilang 35 meron sa 245? That is 7. Nandito na o, oh, same lang yan sila. So, 245 and this is 0. Itong 7 represents 7 days kasi days yung binabanggit dito sa statement. So, it will also take 7 days to finish planting for the other farmer. Now, sa choices ay walang 7 days dyan. Itong 12 days, wrong na yan kasi 7 days lang yung sagot. Itong 6.5 days ay wrong din. At itong 2 weeks, which is equal to 14 days, ay mas lalong mali. So, let's try in hours. In 1 day, may 24 hours. So, ilang oras meron sa 7 days? Multiply 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Carry 2. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 2 is 16. 168. Nandito si 168 hours, 7 days is equal to 168 hours, and this is correct. Next, number 5. A workforce of 600 of whom one-third are women is merged with a workforce of 250 of whom one-fifth are women. What is the total number of women in the newly formed workforce? 1, 200, 2, 250, 3, 260, 4, 350, or 5, 360? The correct answer is 250. So focus tayo sa statement. May dalawang workforce dito, a workforce of 600 and a workforce of 250. Dito sa 600, one-third are women to be merged dito sa 250 na one-fifth ang women. So para makuha natin kung ilan yung one-third ng 600, let's multiply 600 and one-third. 600 times 1 is 600 over 3. So 600 divided by 3 is 200. So, in a workforce of 600, 200 ang women. Dito naman sa workforce of 250 ay 1 fifth ang women. So, para makuha kung ilan itong 1 fifth, multiply 250 and 1 fifth. So, this is 250 over 5. Divide, 250 divided by 5 is 50. So, in a workforce of 250 ay 50 ang women. Ang tanong ay what is the total number of women in the newly formed workforce? So just add 250 and that is 250 and this is correct. Short recap lang no, in work problems kapag ang hinihingi ay working together, use the formula product over sum. At kapag working alone ang hinihingi, use the formula product over difference. Ganyan lang kasimple. And of course, analyze the problem at isaisip yung mga given numbers. Baka dyan ka pa magkamali. As you can observe, no, basic operations lang nagagamit natin. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But still, be careful tayo sa paggamit ng mga ito. 
and focus kung ano yung hinihingi sa problem. Yun lang, sana natutunan nyo yung mga techniques kung paano makasagot ng tama at mabilis in work problems. At sana ay bigyang gabay ni Lord ang inyong puso at isip sa paparating na exam. That's all for our problem solving on work problems. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button para updated ka sa mga upcoming videos dito. And thumbs up if nagustuhan nyo. Thank you so much for watching. Laban-laban. See you on my next videos. Bye!